Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another episode of my City Living LP and I think today is either part 24 or part 25. I literally just checked like about 20 seconds ago to see if it was actually part 24 part 25 and I've forgotten already. But that doesn't matter, you'll be able to see that from the title. Anyway, so we are here back with Vincent and Penny. If you don't know, they actually moved in um, maybe a part or two ago. It has been a little while since I've recorded an episode of this and my other LP. So there's been a lot going on with which I'll explain maybe once we'll go through a loading screen because, you know, there's always time you fill during then. So um, they have just moved into their new penthouse, actually. They, you know, they've worked so, so hard. And if you don't know, um, after the things that, you know, Vincent's been doing, he received a huge sum of money from uh, Lock Gang. I kind of really don't know his name. It's either Dylan or Lock Gang or Lock Gang Dylan or something. I don't know. It's a very, very long name. Um, but anyway, it got like 300,000 simoleons, even more than that. And... Um, He's actually moved in with Penny and they decided because, you know, they are living in a really bad condition and Penny is actually pregnant and she's going to be in her second trimester tomorrow, actually. Um, so they thought it'd be a really good idea to maybe renovate the apartment or just move out to somewhere new and, you know, just start fresh because with her new life together, which I'm hoping is going to work out well. But you never know with the past that Vincent's had and the life of living in the city, you never know what's going to happen. So um, they are kind of sitting here a little bit awkwardly, actually. <laughs> Um, I've just realised that, but oh well, it was just somewhere to uh, start off the episode with. But this is their new penthouse, it is here in the, oh my god, I've forgotten the name, the Fashion District, I think this is called. And um, yeah, so it is kind of late, they've had a big day of moving and um, they've finally just moved in now. Uh, kind of a bit late, isn't it? So um Probably going to get them off to bed soon. You really, what, what Vincent really wanted to do, oh, I need to set my timer before I forget because then we'll run over on the episode. Let's see here. Timer. Um, there we go. So I've got that on. Okay. Um, so Vincent, what he really wanted to do today was go over to um, Aaron's house because he doesn't really know that they've actually moved and just tell him about things that's been happening and maybe invite him over. But that's something we could do tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to actually get them to clean their beds because that's not what we have done. I don't want them to go and sleep in random beds. Um, there we go. Okay, so there isn't really a whole lot for them to do tonight, really. Their fun is at low. So what I'm actually going to get them to do is come over and cook something because it is pretty, um, he's pretty hungry. And what's really, like, I don't get how this penthouse is this expensive because it's literally, look at this fridge. It's one of those really cheap ones. The bathrooms are, like, not luxurious at all, to be honest. There's only, like, two bathrooms and they both look like you would find something in a lower, you know, um, apartment. So... I don't really know what's up with that, but it's pretty expensive. And I'm hoping that they actually be able to afford this place now because, you know, there isn't any deposits or it didn't tell you about any weekly rent or anything when I actually bought this house. So, you know, it has cost them about 250,000 simoleons, which I mean is quite a lot, but, you know, it, um, I'm hoping that they'll be able to afford this because I'm starting to have a little bit of doubts now, actually. But we'll just have to wait and see how everything pans out. So I'm going to get him to come in and cook something, which is probably a bad idea, him doing it, and I don't want him to <laughs> burn down his brand new house. Um, so what should we do? Probably something easy, just grilled cheese. He kind of wants to impress Penny a little bit because, you know, um, he's kind of... It was funny a little while ago because when they started, you know, get, going out with... Um, wait, I've just realised that this wall isn't even painted. Have you just noticed that? Oh my god. <laughs> this, you know how when you just get a basic wall? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I thought, like, the... Sims team might have paid a little bit more attention to that or I'm just like not looking at this right I'm pretty sure that means this wall isn't painted hmm I don't know anyway let's move on from that <laughs> um so yeah when they like when Penny first went over to his house she was kind of making fun of it a little bit and how just of a bad quality it is she was kind of well not making fun of it it was just judging him really about it because you know she has more money than him and you know she had a better life and things and a better apartment so um, she did judge him a little bit, but, um, you know, he's kind of worked around that and now, you know, he's in a better position than she was. So, you know, it is a little bit weird in that sense, but, you know, he's trying to really impress her, but with cooking stuff like this, oh, it is excellent quality, which is great, okay. Um, so, I'm going to get him to call to a meal. He is very, very hungry. I'm sure there's some pickup serving. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Pick up serving. I've never seen that one before. Let me know if you've seen that, if that's in a new update or something. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. Um, it kind of annoys me that the dining table isn't down here, so they're going to have to get the food and come up upstairs, which is a little bit irritating, but 
I suppose we can get on with that. Oh my god. <laughs> now she's bursting for the toilet. She's probably going to pee herself by the time she gets downstairs. And because this place is so huge, it's going to take them like an hour to walk anywhere. Um, so I may be actually going to get her to cancel that interaction. Go to a toilet. Sorry, this is so boring actually. <laughs> I didn't realise how boring this is, actually is. Um, so I'm just going to teleport her here. I really can't be bothered. Um, I might change these toilets because it's really annoying because you have to go into the use menu and then click use and there's all these different options, which is a little bit irritating. So I might actually change those toilets. Um, and wait, why is the toilet roll paper this high up? Like, if you imagine, you, okay, so you're sitting on the toilet, okay, and you're supposed to reach right up there. Like, what? <laughs> Why would you put the toilet paper right up there? Anyway, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about today. I'm a total mess. I've had a very long, 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 long day, so... Yeah. Also, I should point out, I'm recording this on the 27th of January. You're probably seeing this sometime into February. And actually, the 27th of February is my birthday, so make sure you mark your calendars. Um, okay, so she's finished with the time now, so let's get her to go and get this. So there isn't really a whole lot left to do tonight, actually. So what I'm going to do is just pause the recording here, and I'll meet you back in the morning when there's something more interesting to do. Okay, so it is the morning time now, and I'm just looking out the window, and I have such a nice view in this apartment, actually. Well, penthouse. <laughs> um, it is an, actually a really, really nice view. Anyway, let's move on. So, um, I'm going to get them up. Um, I think Vincent wants to cook them some breakfast. Um, you know, just surprise her a little bit with something a little bit thoughtful. So, let's go and do that. Um, you know what I'm thinking about while I was, like, had the recording paused? I think what I might do is maybe look on the gallery for some... Um, other penthouses because I'm not really too fond of this one so that's what I might do um, for the next episode maybe okay so I'm gonna get him to well put this in the fridge to start with because I can have that at another time I'm gonna get him to come over here and serve eggs on toast I suppose is a nice thing to have and um, so let's get him to do that I'm going to get Penny to come and maybe just go and sit outside, actually, because it is a nice morning. They can have uh, breakfast outside. Um, and, yes, yeah, so I don't really get the purpose of this bathroom. It's kind of like a gym bathroom because I have lockers here. Like, I don't know why you would need lockers in your own home. Um, it's a little bit of an odd apartment. I don't really... Well, oh, my God, I said apartment again. I mean penthouse. It's a little bit of an odd penthouse. So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is just wait until he's finished this, and I'll meet you back in a minute. Okay, so Vincent has made the breakfast now, and, um, oh, I don't know what Penny was doing there, but it's probably something to do with her pregnancy. Anyway, so I'm going to, um, get them to call to me, I guess, and I don't know, oh, they're not in a group, that's why. I was looking for grab a servant together, but that wasn't there. I don't know why she's standing up for. What, did you, really? Did you have to get up to pick up that plate, then to sit back down again? Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my Anyway, so let's get them to have that. I'm going to take a couple of pictures, like what I normally do during my videos. <laughs> if you're new here, then I take a lot of screenshots. Um, I, well, I say this in like every video. It's just because I hate it when I come to make a thumbnail and I don't have enough pictures, if you know what I mean. So and then I have to choose something that doesn't really look too good. So, yeah. Okay, so, well, oh, I thought <laughs> it looked like he had a sandwich or something there. looked a little bit different. Um, so, Penny doesn't really seem to be very happy at the minute. I don't know if it's because if this meal's bad, but... Hmm. Probably because she's pregnant. That <laughs> I mean, that'll probably explain it. Um, and I don't know what Vincent's laughing about, but it came. Oh my god, wait, what? What? Oh. <laughs> I thought you went into labour there. I saw the, like, the uncomfortable thing with the... It was flashing. Anyway, let's move on. So, I'm sure there was somebody at the door before. Yeah, this person wants to do exercise with us. Um, I'm not really that bothered, so bye, Parry. I think that's her name. Um, okay, so... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! James, who was Penny's old husband, has just asked if she wants to go out on a date. Oh my god. Well, so James is a ghost and he must be roaming around the town somewhere. If you don't know, but um, that was one of the victims that um, Vincent killed and... Oh my god, I'm totally surprised about that. I thought Penny had moved on from that and she's not, you know, we're always, I was always suspicious that Penny had something going on behind Vincent's back and that kind of explained it a little bit. So now that she's in the household, we can kind of keep a closer eye on her. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. Anyway, I don't know where he's off to. Oh, do they have work today? Please don't. Oh, he's waiting from home. Oh, I didn't even have work today. Uh, they're both off today. Okay, that's great. So what I'm going to get them to do is actually head over to Aaron's house because they haven't seen each other in a little while. Um, I'm going to, well, we're going to go and see Aaron first and then I'm probably going to invite Aaron back because if you don't know, a little while ago, and, well, another thing that you may, may not know if you haven't been watching the full um, LP was when uh, Vincent was in prison, um, he actually was, um, his parents actually died when he was in there, which was... It, it, 
oh my god, it was just horrible. Um, and Aaron was the one who came over to, oh my god, why is Aaron not at home? Hmm. Let's see where he is. Um, oh, he's at the, oh, he's at the gym. Okay, so I guess what we could do is maybe just invite him over to the house. I think that would be the easiest thing to do. Um, so let's see, where, where where would I do this? Um, hang on, well, it's all lagging. I'm sorry about that. Um, says, Aaron, let's invite him over to the current lot. Okay, so what was I saying again? I totally forgot. Something about him being in prison. Um, I don't know. Well, Penny was the one who actually got him into prison. And now, you know, their life now is... It's a bit surprising, actually. Um, so anyway, I want, I totally forgot what I was saying there. But let's move on. So I'm going to get Aaron to come over so we can... Well, what is she... Oh my god. Welcome wagon, really? <laughs> Please, bye. <laughs> um, okay, so let's invite Aaron over. Oh my god, why is there so many people in our apartment? Oh, I keep saying apartment, you know what I mean. I mean penthouse. So let's um, come invite him in or anything. Let's just um, ask him a day. I think what it might be... Oh, that was... Now I remember. What we agreed to do is because... Um, Vincent's parents were kind of getting a little bit worried about Aaron. Um, if you don't know why they were worried, then I suggest you go back and watch part one. Um, and I did a little, in the little introduction, I did a little, um, how many times can I say a little in a sentence? I did a little <laughs> um, thing in the uh, intro there. Oh my god, I'm totally messed today, I'm sorry about this. Did a little intro thing and um, it kind of explained what these troubles were that he's having. And Vincent's parents are getting a little bit worried about him. So because, you know, Vincent has the good trait, he really wants to help people, which is a little bit contradicting to the things he's done in his past. Um, he wanted to help him by getting his health back on track, Aaron's health, I mean, and uh, wanted to put, you know, his parents' uh, worries at rest. And um, now that they're gone, it's kind of going to be hard for, you know, just to show him that, you know, Vincent is doing good things. Um, but, you mean, he doesn't really mind about that. At least he's getting his brother back on track and that's the most important thing um so what are they doing okay, really oh my god so vincent's uh well aaron is uh, over here let's try that again okay let's just forget this this is a total best today everything is going wrong uh okay so let's just cancel that i just need to reset them because there's a couple of things going wrong here um and i'm going to get him to come over here and shoot around together can they do that there we go Okay, so what I was saying is, oh my god, this is how long has it taken to explain one tiny little thing? <laughs> they, um, Vincent agreed to like go to the gym with him every week, uh, just to make a weekly thing to try and get Aaron's health back on track, which was something that they did for a little while. Oh my god, I totally forgot to put Aaron's no, uh, oh my god, Vincent's shoes back on because that was a CC glitch. I need to fix that anyway. Um, so he, you know he agreed to get his health back on track by going to the gym every week, and that was something with the things that you know Vincent has been doing with all these nasty things that he's had done. In past and um, he's kind of forgotten about that a little bit so um, Aaron's actually been really committed to this and he's been doing a lot of work himself and I can see straight away a huge difference in his figure and um, so you know Aaron's oh my god <laughs> I think I should just give up today <laughs> Vincent is really really happy about that but they still want to continue and now that they have this thing in their apartment now that's gonna be really really great so now they don't have to go out to the gym they can just do it from home by getting some exercise so I'm gonna get them to do this for a little bit I don't know what Penny's doing Let's see. Oh my god, she's just been sick. Oh my god. Um, so she needs the toilet badly, but she can't really go to that toilet because it's got green gases coming out of it. So let's go to another bathroom over here. Um, okay, so no, I don't want to go here. I want to just use it. Okay, there we go. So, um, oh my god, I totally forgot to say. In the beginning, when I was saying uh, that I haven't been calling apart in a little while, it was a couple of things happened. One, I had a fever and it was terrible. It just, oh god, it was. I was just a mess for like a week. Um, but I feel a bit better now. And um, I couldn't really record you then because I just, oh god, it was, I tried to record, well, the night I got my fever, which was a Thursday, it was the night that toddlers came out, like, the one night of the year, the most important time in Sims 4 history, and I'm ill, oh my god, I was trying to make kind of like an, you know, like a first impressions overview of the trailer sort of thing, which I normally do, um, but I couldn't do that, so... Yeah, but I have done a couple of toddler videos, maybe just one actually, since I came out. And because I had a fever, I was just felt terrible and I just wasn't excited for toddlers at all. And like, I was just totally shocked with myself and I was like, Thomas, you should be excited about this. This is what you've been wanting for ages. But um, now that I'm feeling better, I am really, really happy about that. And what I'll also be able to do is get toddlers for um, Penny and Vincent because I haven't actually played with toddlers properly in any gameplay yet. I know in my Collins family, which hopefully there'll be an episode soon, I just haven't had a lot of time to record that. Um, that little kid Curtis will be aging up to a toddler, which would be great. Um, okay, so, I don't know what Penny can be doing for the day. I think I should just maybe get her to go and, um, swim. Why can't she swim laps? 
Oh, because she's oh, pregnant, okay, so not really a whole lot to do. Um, I guess we could... Oh my god, there's not really a whole lot to do in this place, actually. Um, does she have anything she could be doing? Oh, she wants to go watch TV, I suppose that's fine. Okay, so they are just out here. Um, well, oh my god, he's pretty stinky now. Okay, I think that's enough for today. I'm going to get him to go and fix up his knees a little bit. I think they should maybe go out because I haven't really done a lot today. Um, maybe go over to the bar. I think that would be a nice thing to do. I think Penny wants to just relax a little bit. So it might be a nice thing to do for Vincent and Aaron to just go out themselves and to the bar and catch up a little bit. Because they don't really get a lot uh, of time to see each other anymore. So that would be a nice thing to do. So I'm going to get Aaron to... Oh my god, I keep getting the... Oh, wait, what have I done? Oh, I went to Bill Moore by accident. I don't know how I did that. It's some keyboard shortcut, but I don't even know what it is. Oh my god, you can see the trail of green gases going through there. Um, what was I saying? I totally forgot again. I'm like, I'm like, I've got a headache today, so I'm sorry about that. So, what I want them to do is go over to the bar, which we're going to do in a minute. So, there isn't really a whole lot left to do until we do that. So, what I'm going to do is pause the recording now, and I'll meet you back once they're ready to go. Okay, so we're here at the bar now, they're freshened up a little bit, and I'm going to get them to go over and get some drinks. Um, I, is there a bartender here? Yeah, he's just there. Well, pff, he's running to the bar. Um, okay, so let's get him to order a drink if we can do that. Um, order a drink for the group. And um, let's get something a little bit more expensive, because now he does have a little bit more money. Um, let's see what we can get. Um, also, there is vampires. I do have that now. The Plasma Gene, that is one of the drinks that came with the new pack. Um, so um, maybe I don't really want to do a vampires LP, because I feel like that's too much going on my channel. And I can barely manage two LPs as it is. So what I'm thinking about maybe doing is merging vampires with City Living. Let me know what you think about that idea. I've always already been planning some uh, potential storylines I could do uh, to incorporate vampires in here, but I'm not going to give that away just yet. You're going to have to wait and see how that will all plan out. So I'm going to get them to go and get some sea splashes, because that seems like a nice drink, actually. Um, and you know what's really, really nice about this, by Vincent having more money, is he can, you know, go out and, like, treat his friends and family and people he knows. Um, and remember a little while ago, like, um, you know, they used to go out to the bars all the time. Uh, just to catch up after they haven't seen each other for a little while. And you know, they just have to get the really cheapest drink because, you know, Vincent and his whole family really struggled for quite a long time. And now, you know, his parents aren't here to share this money with him, but you know, it is really, really nice that Vincent can now afford things more expensive. He just feels really proud. But the way he got the money, I don't think he should be too proud of. And I'm really surprised how well Vincent's coping with us, with this. I mean, <laughs> he's like literally killed about three or four people and he's totally fine with it. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he's... Well, I, I'm feeling... Well, he's got two drinks. I'm feeling that he's going to, you know, really go down with this well. As he's, you know, he's been doing that for a long, long time now, actually. Um, So, I don't know what he's doing. He's literally just put a drink on her back. And for some reason, it teleported over here. So, wh why... Can they just sit down? Like, why? Please? Oh, my God. Let's just go and sit together. Can they do that or not? Yes, please. Okay, good. So, I'm going to get them just to talk a little bit, see what Aaron's up to, because I don't even think Aaron has a job yet. Um, I mean, you know, Vincent can probably help him financially for a little bit now, because now he's run into this money, like I've said. But I'm not too sure how long that's going to, um, you know, go down with, because... Vincent just doesn't have a lot of money, and that's... Well, I mean... Oh, my God. He does, but it's not... I don't think it's going to last a long time if he's going to keep these expensive, um, you know, spending habits up. Um, so, I'm going to have to end the episode in a minute or two because we don't really have a lot of time left. I'm sorry this episode wasn't very dramaful. Um, dr I keep saying dramaful, and I don't even think that's a word. I said it in my channel trailer, and I'm looking back at it, and that kind of doesn't look too good. <laughs> but anyway, that doesn't really matter. Oh my god, okay. I'm laughing too hard at that. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to get them to come over here and do a duet together. Um, him and Aaron. I don't think they're very good singers. And you remember the... Let's just pause for a second. The whole reason that Vincent came to Samai Shuno was to improve his singing skill and reach fame, which he's always dreamed of. And all these things have gotten in the way. It's kind of a bit ridiculous, to be honest. But um, he's managed to <clears throat> um, try and, you know, help himself. But he's, what he wanted to do is really go out every night to karaoke nights, get his name out there and things. But that's been really, really hard to do because of everything that's been happening. But that's something he really wants to get back on track now with all these things that, you know, that's happened are kind of over and done with. He can move on. But there is a kid on the way. So, oh, <laughs> my voice just went really high there. There is a kid on the way. So it, it's going to be hard to do that thing. Anyway, I want to listen to them for a little bit here. Do you know why Akira stand right in the middle of them? <laughs> can he move out the way? I want to take a sweet shot, please. Oh my god, he hasn't improved at all. Let's see how Aaron sounds as well. He's just lip syncing. Oh my god, the terrible. 
Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Um, okay, let's just take a couple of screenshots here then. <laughs> this is kind of a good um, angle here, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so let's uh, get a couple more here. It's really annoying how they have all these little things in the way. It kind of gets in the way a little bit for screenshots. I wish you could turn those off. Um, I'm trying to get lined up kind of in the middle with this thing. Okay, let's do a couple more screenshots here. Let's maybe get a better angle. <laughs> um, hang on. Okay, maybe there. Okay, that's kind of a, a better one, I suppose. And just some individual... Ind oh my god, I can't speak. Individual ones. Um, I'm sorry, this is like getting really boring. Hmm. That face is a little bit interesting. Um, oh, and Aaron seems to be enjoying himself. Anyway, that's enough for screenshots now, and that's enough for this episode. I think we've spent a long, long time on this episode. It probably hasn't by the time I cut out all the loading screens and stuff, but it feels like I've been recording for like an hour. Anyway, that is it for this video, so hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave some comments down below about what you think should happen in the future of this Let's Play. If you have uh, any other further suggestions of how I could maybe incorporate vampires into this Let's Play as well, then leave those down below in the comment section. Make sure you give this video a like, comment, share, well, comment like I've already said, <laughs> share and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!